Hey YouTube, welcome to my ongoing headache. Story to follow in a moment. Welcome back. So, if you're looking, you see this refurbished HP computer. Um, so if you remember, I used to have an HP Media Center computer. Um, if you want to see it, the, the exact computer, go back to my Windows 7 upgrade thing and you'll actually see the physical computer there. But anyways, uh, back in December, that computer decided that it wanted to blow up. Almost figuratively. Or actually. I don't even know what I'm saying. Do I know what I'm saying? It decided to blow up. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, so, well, I knew it. Ne never mind. Anyways, so said computer blew up. So, being unable to afford anything more than about $550, which I couldn't really afford at the time anyway, but I did need a new Windows computer, I bought this Boxing Day online refurbished from Future Shop. Canadian company, one that I had the misfortune of working for for the better part of five years, but that's another story altogether. So anyways, I had this computer for, let me see, Lexi and Becky are really excited about this. Yes, and uh, That's Carol's computer that Becky is resting her nose on. So anyway, so where was I? Oh yeah, so I had this computer. Uh, came preloaded with Windows Vista Home Premium, yay. Um, anyway, so it's a, uh, quad-core, uh, 8 gigs, DDR2 RAM, would have liked DDR3, but, uh, to be honest, I don't really care. Uh, so I had this running for just a little less than four weeks. Um, I had ordered the Windows 7 upgrade CD from Hewlett Packard, installed that. Um, uh, that had been kind of finicky from the start. It was only on there for a few days. Then the computer got stuck into a reboot cycle. System restore would not work, so I ended up performing a recovery, which when I do recoveries, I always uh, perform them off the disk that I burn myself. Uh, I don't know, just force a habit. But anyways, by the time I got to the second disk, even though the system had checked the disk as fine while I was burning it, the disk, the disk itself turned out to be blank. But disk 1 had run. So what it had done was wipe the entire hard drive, including the recovery partition, leaving me with no operating system. So, January 29th, I bring my computer into Future Shop, try and talk them into Exchange, but that didn't work. Of course, no surprise there. The, the company doesn't really care too much about customers. They have a monopoly here in Canada, but that's another story altogether. Uh, so, I drop it off January 29th, and they order me a recovery CD. So over the past few months, I call them. They never have any information other than it's taking a while. So today, which is April, oh, what is it today, the 18th, I finally got sick of waiting, so I went in and tried to figure out what's going on. Still no recovery disk, so I picked up the tower, so I now have a computer with no operating system to speak of. And uh, I've got little notes on here, finishing... PC check. I don't really know what they had to check. The thing wouldn't boot up. Uh, restore approved. A couple of geniuses there. Anyways, here's my depot sticker. So, in order to attempt to resolve this, which will probably be another headache altogether, the PC that was going to be running or was going to be my Windows PCs. I now, after the nightmare of this, I just switched to my MacBook as my primary PC. I am now going to attempt putting Linux's Ubuntu 9.10 on the computer, and we shall see what happens. Once again, the dogs are just as excited as I am. Hey, okay, so I'm back. Monitor's on, so let's power this up after it's been sitting. Future Shop doing nothing for several months. And this is about as far as I'm going to get. And no, I'm not a uh, Linux fanboy. I just want my computer to freaking work. So at this point, this is 
the only solution other than finding a copy of Windows, which be a DRM and cracking nightmare. And have I, I haven't actually bothered looking at the installation stuff or anything like that. Okay. So we're just going to reset the computer. Did I give it long enough? Probably not. <sighs> Escape boot menu. Loading boot menu. Okay. So, what the hell do I want to? RAM. What language do I want? Let's be original. We'll go with English. There we go. Try Ubuntu without any changes to your computer. Well, you can't really change much because there's nothing on my computer. I have a blank hard drive. Check this for defects. So, now I've done that enough times, so we're just going to go install. Here's my little, little thing, and yes, the DVD drive sounds like it's having a freaking nervous breakdown on this thing, but apparently it checked out fine. Let it be known, this is the same DVD drive that burnt my recovery disk that screwed up my computer. Okay, I'm just gonna stop this for a second. I'll be back when something happens. Oh, here we go. So things happened. Black screen. Seen a lot of that with this computer. We have action. A mouse works. I suppose that's a good sign. Oh lord. White screen. Welcome. What do I want? I would like English, please. You should be really original and go French. Okay. Ooh. And it has spotted me exactly where I am. Actually, no, it hasn't. I just thought I'd say that for the heck of saying that. Uh, it's about a thousand kilometers or so off. Yes, I'm in Canada. You use kilometers. <laughs> 